you don't want to see old products being opened, but we're going to do it anyway. What's up guys, Joe with Yugi Boom. Um, you know me, I like to hunt down old cars, I like to hunt down older sets. The Ghost Hunter series is a good sign of that, but we here at Yugi Boom got our hands on three of the original Legendary collections. Um, so this came out a while ago, you know, it refurbished the original packs. I mean, they're non-first, but it's still nice to open um, the old sets and see what you can pull. Uh, we did a very uh, last minute one last time when I just found one at the store and uh, I ended up pulling a Chaos Emperor Dragon. So we went ahead and got a couple more. Going to do our legit setup and hopefully with three of each pack, we can climb up and get something good from every set. But we're definitely still looking out for Jinzo. Um, our Monster Reborn would be nice. Solemn Judgment, things like that that are still relevant today. I mean, Jinzo is just my personal favorite, but who gives a fuck? Let's go. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just open all three of these. I'll open one on camera for you guys, just for anybody who's super outdated and hasn't seen this shit. So you get one of everything. So you got your uh, Pharaoh Servant. Legend of Blue Eyes, uh, Dark Crisis, Metal Raiders, Invasion of Chaos, and Spell Ruler. Uh, I have my particular order that I like to follow and a lot of people follow, but, um, you know, and then so you also get uh, this mat, which is pretty cool out of all these little hard mats. I mean, they're crappy to play with, you know, but, uh, I mean, they got some nice artwork on the other side. You know, you got Kaiba, Yugi, Joey. I'll show them both to the camera up here, you know. Uh, but... It's definitely one of the cooler ones. Like, I definitely have, have wanted to make a backdrop with this before, but, I mean, nobody plays on these. If some guy plays on you with this at regionals, he'll probably follow you home and skin your family. So, just take that loss. It's not worth advancing to the next round. For the sake of just opening, I will open one of the promo packs, just so we can, you know, see what came in here. It's very simple. So, you get um, an Obelisk the Tournamenter, the original printing with the blue background, the un playable versions that don't actually have their effects um, for anybody who's been living under a rock these have been printed with their actual effects and are actual usable monsters but it's still nice to see them in their original colors so you get slifer he's got his red background with no uh mark i remember as a kid i actually thought these were fake because they didn't have the Yu-Gi-Oh mark and stuff and when i got these from somebody my brother they're way older than me and they were ready to like beat someone's ass because they thought i got ripped off because they only played magic shows you how dumb magic players are <laughs> no i'm just kidding but anyways yeah so i mean i still like to have these for my collection i still have an original old obelisk that's like this but it's bent to shit like a lot of the classic cards i have so it is nice to get a new fresher one you know but at the end of the day the god cards still look beautiful and having them just in a binder sitting somewhere is always nice to have uh then you get the different printings of um dark magician blue eyes and red eyes the iconic cards uh, Blue Eyes and Dark Magician got the tablets behind them and Red Eyes has like no connection to the Pharaohs and all that shit So he's just looking a little cooler with an ominous dark background, you know uh, I always thought it was pretty trash that Red Eyes only has 2400 attack Which is just always inherently made him worse than everything else Tack on the fact that his support is all spread out and crappy So like I'll always play Blue Eyes and Dark Magician sucks So we'll see we have everything separated, so as it goes, we have three Dark Crisis packs, three Spell Ruler packs, three Invasion of Chaos, three Metal Raiders, three Pharaoh Servant, and lastly, uh, three a Legend of Blue Eyes, or Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon. And uh, that's the order we'll be going in, um, mainly because Blue Eyes White Dragon is the most iconic and the most expensive sealed box even though it's got nothing really in it worth that much money and then feral servant is second to last because it's my personal favorite and if i pull a jinzo i'll most likely shit my pants so um without further ado let's get into it all right everybody dark crisis you are up first so i don't remember much from dark crisis to be honest i mean i obviously as a kid still collected these packs but I don't remember what's really worth pulling in here besides Dark Crisis. So I'm sure there's something else good or nostalgic. But I just don't care about it. Goblin Agreed. Twin Swords of Flashing Light Trice. Staunch Defender. Mirage Knight. Oh, we actually got a super right off the bat. That is, that's pretty wild. I forgot about this guy. I think he's one of those random uh, monsters. So this card cannot be normal summon a set. Cannot be special summon except by the effect of Dark Flare Knight. When he battles another monster during damage calculation, increase the attack of this card's original attack of the opponent's monster. 
During the end phase, if this card is involved in battle, just remove it from play. So typical old school monster that was very random and not really part of anything. Sounds really good, but it's just actual ass and like actuality. Like who would even do that? Like summon a dark flare just to get this out. So, but he still looks really cool. He's definitely gonna go in my collection binder for being so old and it's nice to start with a, with a super right off the bat. So there we go, Mirage Knight. And then our rare was Dark Bishop Archfiend. We got Pandemonium. I remember that was actually sought after. Token Thanksgiving. Keldo and drag down to the grave. That's a, another good common to actually get, honestly. We pulled one of those in the last video. All right. Dark Crisis, round two. Incandescent Ordeal. It's ritual, morale boost. Warrior Digreffer on there. Despair from the Dark. Ooh, and an Ultra. Okay, so Dark Crisis has been um, pretty kind. And you got to think these packs are all from different packs too so i hope it doesn't affect the hollow chances of the other kinds having a dark crisis hollow and everything um so he goes along with all those you know equipped cards and stuff um 2500 one sacrifice can only be normal summon flip them or special summon when there's a gravity x girl on the field and if this is the only card in your hand you can special summon it so um he looks really cool he's a dinosaur but with the new dinosaurs nowadays you'll probably never run this card but Still not. Ooh, and skill drain. Now that's a hell of a rare to get. I can't lie. I mean, the the astral pack or the first turbo pack or whatever the hell it came out when ultra is still expensive. But having the original printing of skill drain, um, well, one of the original printings of skill drain uh, rare is pretty nice. Can't lie. That's actually gonna probably be something I use. Uh, Dark Scorpion, Min, me. I'm not even gonna say your name. Keldo, Ojama Trio, and Checkmate. All right, so, so far, both Dark Crisis packs, the first two Dark Crisis packs have had hollows. Let's see if uh, Dark Crisis is just what, what, what we're lucky with today or if that was just a fluke. So we got Spell Reproduction, Guardian Elma, Staunch Defender. Ooh, I was right. Kaiser Glider, Ultra. So another crappy card, but... Uh, well, not, probably not as crappy, but uh, this card is not destroyed as a result of battle when this battles with a monster with the same attack. Right on. When this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, return one monster on the field to its owner's hand. Uh, nowadays, the fact that that says when just makes that not really great of an effect, but uh, he's really cool and he's an ultra from the set. And we got another skill drain for the rare. So uh, that's pretty interesting. Arsenal Summoner, Pandemonium, Token Thanksgiving, and Keldo. All right, so I'm a little worried because you never really pull anything in these collections and unless we got super blessed, getting three hollows, one from each collection, all from Dark Crisis, that might have sucked for us, but I'm uh, knocking on fictional wood here or the stool I'm sitting on and hoping we still pull some shit. So next up, Spell Ruler. Let's get it. All right, so. I'm not sure what I would want to pull from here, besides obviously like Relinquished, um, but we'll see. High Tide Gyojin, Darkness Approaches, Eat Gaboon, Penguin Knight, and UFO Turtle. Nice. Those were actually not good, the cards that summoned like Sang Sangan and stuff. Psychic Kappa, Curse of Fiend, Crab Turtle, which as a kid was actually one of my favorite cards, and Rising Air Current. All right, here we go. Pack number two for Spell Ruler. Come on, y'all. We got this. Gravekeeper Serpent. Servant, not Serpent. Used to be really annoying. Ryu Ran from the show. Yumi Ruka. Whiptail Crow. And Manga Ryu Ran. Dang, that's a pretty iconic card to pull. I can't lie. Uh, I forgot the tunes were in here too. Um, tunes obviously got a lot more support that made them uh, a lot better and like kind of niche but still funner to play. In the early days, uh, at least I wasn't playing competitively back then, so let me know in the comment section below in the early days if there was actually a good tune deck, but from my knowledge, they're just, they got a lot more better support nowadays, but still it's a, it's a rogue deck nobody's really gonna run, so. All right, Mangu Ryu ran as the rare. And we got Spear Cretin, Peacock, Eternal Rest, and Chorus of Sanctuary. Last pack for Spell Ruler. We got Griggle, 
Darkness Approaches, Spear Cretin, Ceremonial Bell, and Flying Kamaka Kamakiri number one. Kamakiri. Uh, so that means our spell roller was a bust. Fiend's Hand Mirror, Yurmakura, Flash Assailant, and Labyrinth Wall. So no hollows at all in spell ruler, but that's good. All right, so next up, one of my other personal favorites, Invasion of Chaos. This time, last time we pulled a Chaos Emperor Dragon, so another would be cool, but a BLS would obviously be better. Uh, so we got Lord Poison, Thunder Crash, Chopman the Desperate Outlaw, and ooh, Insect Princess. I forgot about this card. Um, so an Ultra, that's not bad. 1900 only for six stars when this face up card on the field while this card is face up on the field battle positions of all face up insect monsters on your opponent's side of the field are changed in face of attack position each time this card destroys an insect type monster is on a battle increase the attack of this card by 500 points so obviously this was for the whole insect barrier and parasite parasite turning your whole opponent's deck into insects and then getting the insect queen so very anime style deck that would probably not even work in the old days but um, would be very interesting to see showcased nowadays, I can't lie. So I'm going to go ahead and sleeve up Insect Princess. Uh, I did sleeve up the other hollows we pulled earlier, you know, to not be a degenerate. So we'll add her to that pile. Then we got uh, Mataza the Zappa. Sea Warrior of Darkness, Balloon Lizard, uh, Yellow Luster Shield, and Inferno. Interesting, interesting, interesting. All right, so Invasion of Chaos is off to a hot start with an Ultra. Uh, next up, we got Prickly Fairy, Griffin's Feather Duster, Granadora, and ooh, Manticore of Darkness. I actually uh, believe that in the early Link era, this card was abused with like Firewall and stuff or something. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below, but uh, this is actually something I'm excited to pull because I actually really liked Manticore of Darkness as a kid. Like, I was always into like different mytho mythological creatures and random crap like that, so. Uh, this guy is during the end phase of the turn this card is sent to the graveyard you can send a beast beast warrior wing beast monster from your hand or your side of the field to the graveyard and special summon him from the graveyard so that's pretty good actually um, even in t by today's standards so uh, he definitely earned himself a sleeve and five hollows so far already um, four of which have been ultras is not a, a bad start here uh, so we got the zapper again ojama yellow uh, balloon lizard dd borderline and witch doctor of chaos all right, so Invasion of Chaos has been uh, pretty friendly to us. Um, don't expect this last pack to have anything, but we could be wrong. Let's see if it's another three hollows like uh, our first. So we got Manju the 10,000 Hands. That's a good card to pull. Ojama Black, Tower of Babel, Fenrir, and Mad Dog of Darkness. So uh, 1900 Beater, which was really nice to have back in the days, normal. Uh, actually something I might put in my collection as well just for the sake of a lot of people probably don't remember this card uh, Multiplication of Ants Hero Emerges Begone Knave and Heart of the Underdog right on okay so that is Invasion of Chaos now we start getting to the nitty gritty if we were going to get hollows and ultras and anything I was hoping it'd be these last three packs but let's just hope we get anything at this point with these so Metal Raiders Obviously, lots of good stuff we could pull. Mirror Force, Summon Skull, Cursed Dragon. We got Launcher Spider, Hakuna Evolution, Prevent Rat, Mystic Lamp, and Witch of the Black Forest. Trent, Block Attack, Electric Lizard, and Dream Clown. If I'm disappointed, I'm probably going to go through the packs a little faster. And here we go. Metal Raiders Round 2. Come on, baby. Give us something. Gazelle, the King of Mythical Beasts. Nice card. Hunting, Hunter Spider, Kakuna Evolution, Pale Beast, and Shadow Ghoul. RIP to the Metal Raiders. Soul Release, Mushroom Man 2, Trent, and Block Attack again. So, Metal Raiders is already looking sad, y'all, unfortunately. But, you win some, you lose some. So, we got Yadu Kar Yado Karu, Dragon Piper, Mystic Horseman. Ooh, and Tribute to the Doomed. So, not something super great but at least we got a hollow from our metal raiders uh discard one card from your hand to the graveyard to destroy one monster card on the field regardless of position um it's i don't know if this counts as a misprint but if you can tell there's like uh like black splotches printed on the card that are actually part of the print like it's not something i can wipe away so that's interesting um nothing too great oh an elegant egotist is a rare 
Uh, that's not bad. Uh, so we'll go ahead and sleeve up that bad boy. Got a mummy doing something weird to another mummy. Um, Elegant Egotist, Swamp Battle Guard, going with Joey and Tristan. Numatori, Do Doma, the Angel of Silence, and Cybersaurus. I always thought this guy reminded me of like a creature from Doom for some reason. Probably just because of the gun on the arm. All right, so uh, that wraps up our Metal Raiders. All right, if we could ever pull anything in the Energy Gods right now, I obviously want it for these. This is my personal favorite set. Um, love Jinzo. He's my favorite monster of all time. If you've watched the channel for the short amount of time we've been around. So I'm hoping for something out of here. Anything. I've literally never really pulled except for, I think, an Imperial Order when it first came off the ban list. Uh, Winged Weaver. Solomon's Law Book. Deep Sea Warrior. Uh, Kis. Setai? I think I'm saying that correctly. And Nobleman of Extermination. So no hollow for the first pack. Invitation to a Dark Sleep. Dark Soldier number one. Harpy's Brother, which is now called Sky Scout. So that's cool to pull. Seven completed. All right. Come on, Pharaoh Servant. We need the Pharaoh for every pack we open here. Thousand Eyes Idol. That's nice to have. Mystic Pro. Four starred Ladybug of Doom, Insect Barrier, and Nobleman of Extermination again. Are you kidding me? Driving Snow, Bombardment Beetle, Earthshaker, and Gradius. All right, so I think just like Metal Raiders, uh, Feral Servant is going to give us a bunch of boo boo. Solemn Wishes, Burning Land, Reign of Mercy, Dokuro Yaiba, and another fucking rare Red Moon Baby. All seeing White Tiger, Time Seal, Sword Hunter. That's a cool OG card. And Mr. Volcano. Sometimes they just didn't really think of what they were making back in the day. What is this? All right, well, now we get down to the last thing. We got no secrets so far. So, Trihorn Dragon would be nice, I guess, to save it. Um, I'm hoping Legend of Blue Eyes gives us anything. Even a leg of Exodia would be nice at this point to really save this. Uh, I'm not really happy with the hollows we've gotten so far. Metabat, Green Phantom King, Larvas, Machine Conversion Factory. I forgot how many vanillas are are, are in freaking uh, Legend of Blue Eyes. And Fusionist. Not something we wanted to see. One-Eyed Shield Dragon, Mystical Sheep, Hard Armor, and Raised Body Heat. Look at that. Um, six, or, yeah, six of the nine cards were normal monsters. That's hilarious all right we're gonna go with the left one first here we go green phantom king lesser dragon mountain spike cedra and flame ghost dark gray power fusion and a bunch of trash last pack y'all there's probably not going to be anything in here because the way it's going now it's going pretty bad 13th grave let's just skip to it yep nothing Garbage. Legend of Blue Eyes till this day evades us with nothing. So that has been another legendary collection opening. We're probably gonna hunt more of these till we finally get something good in Metal Raiders, Feral Servant, and Legend of Blue Eyes. Uh, to do a quick recap, we pulled Tribute to the Doom, uh, Manticore of Darkness, Insect Princess, Kaiser Glider, Guardian Gar Graral, and Mirage Knight. So a lot more ho hollows than you normally get from these old sets and especially this uh, particular legendary collection. But uh, nothing really worth noting compared to last time. Um, hopefully this is the bad luck we got out of the way for next time. But let us know what uh, your guys' favorite cards are from these sets. Just like always in the comment section down below. Please like, comment, subscribe. Any old sets in particular you'd like us to try to get our hands on within a reasonable price range of course. And uh, we'll try to bring those to you guys as soon as we can. Thanks for watching.